celebrating Saturday's win? Yeah, yeah. You know you celebrating the Miami win <laughs> out of all of them. Darren, uh, we haven't had a chance to speak to you since the game, and Brandon was telling us about some communication issues that were happening with your headset. Can you just walk us through sort of what, what happened there from your perspective and trying to you know, get the plays in the huddle? Uh, in the second quarter, it's just uh, we was on defense, and um, I'm just used to huddling up, and the signals just go out. I don't, I don't hear nothing, so I'm looking to the sideline. He's talking to the mic. I can see him on the sideline, but I can't hear nothing. So, like, for the whole quarter, I couldn't hear nothing. I just had to go off signal, just him signaling in or me on third down having time to run over there like a quarterback would and run back out to get the play. So, you know, it was just something we had to adjust to. How much did that affect, do you think, the performance, if at all, there? I, I, I mean, that's part of the game. You got to be able to adjust. I mean, I'm not here to blame that. That's the reason or that, because I feel like we still get off the field sometimes and um, plays were still there to be made. So both, both these teams are dealing with some COVID things right now with some prominent players. We've been at this for a while now, this whole COVID. But, uh, how is this different than if a guy gets hurt? I mean, it's kind of strange to I me. Mean, you show up one day and a guy's here, the next day he's not. It, it, just how is it dealing with this day to day and not knowing, with knowing at any moment somebody could just be gone for a few days? Oh uh, man, you just got to watch yourself, and um, you got to every day you got to take it. Hey, that can be me that get a close contact. That can be me that affect my teammates. So you want to do everything within your power. You know to stay cl clean and stay safe. So you know um, whenever those guys become available to us again, you know we're looking forward to having them back out there. And right now, with the office, where there's a good status you know, do, do you guys go into this thinking that he's going to play? He's not going to play? Well, yeah, we have to prepare that he's playing. I mean, he's a professional. I mean, he can get healthy within the next two days or a day. We have to prepare that he's still there. And um, whoever's the quarterback, we got to prepare. I mean, because it's, it's, it's football, man. Looking at Detroit. With Rudolph coming in, I think, on 24 hours notice, did you notice any scheme changes or anything, or was it basically the same? Uh, I, I didn't really get to check them all the way out, but it's basically the same stuff. They're going to run that stuff. They got a lot of faith in them. Um, last year, we played against their backup quarterback, um, and you know, you've seen what happened. So, Joe, was it first year you guys weren't allowed a lot of big plays in the passing game? Because a lot of people said that Vontae got a few, Jefferson last week. Is that just injuries in the secondary, or what do you think is kind of going on in the last couple weeks? Uh, it just focuses on the, on the details a little more. You know, knowing our leverage, knowing what we got to do in the secondary, um, getting guys on the ground. Some guys are fighting to get extra yards. So just doing our part, making sure we all tied together and just, you know, having that little focus. Sure, well, last week you guys had to face Dalvin Cook. Now this week you guys get Najee Harris. Just what do you see in Najee's game? And what, I mean, he's only a rookie, but what do you think about uh, his game so far? Well, I like Najee's game. I, I feel like he's a big guy. He, he runs hard, runs strong. Um, and I, I feel like he's, he's going to have a, a great career in this league. I mean, we got to come with it. We got every week, we, every bat we play is is it's a tough challenge to bring him down. So, like I said, he's another guy that we got to all gonna need everybody to the ball around the ball. How about the, the running game? Uh, I think with the Vikings running through Thorne, Darius Carey, Jason Dalvin, and Dish rushing attack, and you feel like there was some good adjustments oh, and improvement there. Oh yeah, it, it definitely was a, um, some positive uh, notes to that game. I know we didn't get the outcome we want, but as a defense, I, I feel like we did take some steps um, forward that's going to help us and. Um, I feel like uh, we can clean up a, a, a little bit of the stuff and we'll be good. We talked a lot about forcing takeaways this season. Does it feel like you guys are getting close to having one of those breakout games? I mean, you had the one in the end zone on Conklin. Yeah. TC had the one on the sideline. Does it feel like you guys are getting pretty close to having one of those breakout takeaway games? Uh, I do feel like we're um, having, we're very close. And um, like I say, the ops are there. You know, our coach is doing a great job putting us in position. Um, we just got to be there to make the plays. And um, like I said, that game is coming um, where we're going to take over and get takeaways. You know, they come in bunches. I think you almost had an interception early in the game. Hell yeah, I should have got that. Uh, I, I make that play. I can, I can make that play for sure. Jordan, what's the, uh, right now in the locker room, what's the mood kind of with you guys? And I mean, after three of the last four games have been losses, I mean, is it, hey, we got to get back into this? Or is there a little bit of frustration? Or what's the mood in the locker room? Let's go. Let's go. And let's, let's get these, these Ws. Let's get back to winning. It's, it's a sense of urgency, and uh, we got to go. Let's go. Is it just more honing in on the details or their commonality? Uh, I can't hear you. You repeat that one? My bad. Third, third down conversions. Yep. Teams are converting on a high rate against you guys. Mm -hmm. Is it 
just honing in more on the details or what's been the struggles there? Uh, like I said, it's a combination of everything. It's the details, it's the penalties. I mean, we have got a lot of third down penalties. Uh, it's been some holding calls, been some, you know, hitting the quarterback. It's been a lot of different stuff that we can clean up at, overall. So it's, it's not just penalties, it's not just leverage, it's not that. It's, it's a combination of everything. What, what have you seen out of him? It seems like he's making a lot of plays, playing fast. Just what have you seen out of, out of Kaiser? Uh, dog, dog, day in and day out. Um, he, he works hard, and um, he come to play every game. He play every play like it's his last, and um, love going to war with Kaiser. What do, you, what do you think it is about the scheme that maybe is allowing him to, to play faster? I and mean, Drew, Drew mentioned to us like last week that he's thinking less out there. Just yeah. anything you've seen that in the scheme specifically that might? Uh, just like he said, thinking less, knowing your job. You can play fast when you know what to do and you know what the guys around you are doing. So just them, them guys being around where they know where their buddy going to be. And um, so it allows them to play faster. And um, I feel like that's what they're doing.